Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of God of War. Let's continue. Hey, look! A torch! A torch is built with wood. That is a brazier. A... brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Yeah. Kvekia. Yeah. 
is that? A spirit. It's talking to us. And it hears you as well. <laughs> Be shy now. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive. And <laughs> reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard. Until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. <laughs> they are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. <laughs> Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. <laughs> Very well. There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. They found a well. The son saw the water and made to jump in, but the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep, and once inside they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Wisely, they moved on. That's it? Yes. It's really not a story. If the sun jumped in, it would be a story. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a story. still have much to learn.
Jewish mom right here. Another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Sure. Look here. Kavagia. Prepare yourself. Yes. Another spirit. Yes, another spirit. Hello. I can't remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. What do you mean? The desolation, child. It plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the world serpent. Along with the great flood that followed, many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy, I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you. This is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. Any more short and purposeful stories from it? Very well. There was a young man who was caught stealing and condemned to die. His mother came to visit his prison. She was a kind woman who could only give love. But her son, the thief, met her with rage and bit off her ear. What? Why? <laughs> because the boy had always been a thief, and his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but... her ear... that's not right. <laughs>
Well? Well, what? The brazier? If you must. <laughs> All right, let's go. Kvekia. What do you want? To thank you. These dead reavers drowned me many winters ago. And I've been itching to see them get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple. But I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one with tattoos? Only the one standing in front of me. <laughs> thank you both for avenging my death. Useless. Well, we can't expect them all to know something useful. Maybe the next one will have more information. Keep your expectations low, boy. It's a rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. <laughs> Got another story? One more. There was the story of the mother crab, who scolded her son. She told him he should walk forward, in pride, not sideways as he always did. But she's a crab too. He should say, sure, I'll walk forward as soon as you show me how. Yes, <laughs> he did say that. That was the story. I got it. You want to be here? That's free. 
I think this is the last one. Back. Might as well, right? Fine. Kavikia. Was difficult. You, I must speak with you. Another spirit who wants something from us. How unexpected. What's wrong? I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistakes, spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they're still under the water. Will you find them for me? Oh, even more. Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't you or Mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother. But it was never my concern, nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching the peak. Really? <laughs> then why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. <laughs> and helping others. No, not doing that. Hmm. Uh oh. Looks like it's cursed or something, so I'm gonna save. <laughs> Language cipher. 
We should look for more like this.